Ils disent plus ces deux acteurs qui sont là, tous les membres de la formation Open Terra ce soir en spectacle de Métropolis. Bonjour. 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 Entrevue après la pub. De la formation de Dallas Pantera. Depuis le début de la décennie 1990, il y a déjà plus de 6 millions de personnes qui ont l'album. Et ce soir, ben, vous ne pouvez pas le voir parce qu'il fait déjà noir dehors, mais il fait quand même assez froid présentement sur Montréal, sur la rue Sainte-Catherine. On peut les voir, il y a des gens qui euh, sont massés là parce qu'ils étaient en ligne d'attente pour euh, la métropolie. Ils ont voulu dire bonjour à deux des membres euh, de Pantera. Vinny and Dembag, welcome to Music Plus once again. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Cool. Cool. Uh, all the way, six million people know your music and they're fans of Pantera. For those who are not yet, obviously, uh, compromise is not the key word for Pantera. Right, right, right. Uh, I want to know um, the most compromising things that you had to do one day in your career for Pantera. Did you have to, is compromise part of your vocabulary first? <laughs> well, no, man, I'd just say, really the only compromising thing, it's not really compromising, it's just making sure that you take care of your business. You know, you gotta, you, Even though you play in a band, it's all fun, party, party, good time, you got to be able to get up and do your job every night, you know? So you do have to have some compromise there on your uh, good times, you know? So do you, what is doing your job as a band? What What is your job? We're doing this, What's the, what's the doing, doing this, uh, doing interviews, playing the best shows possible. Really for us, that is the bottom line, because these people, the fans, that's what they're here for. They're here to see us live, and yeah. we got to deliver. They expecting you, huh? They expect it. I know. You worked with that uh, for, I mean, TSPC? TSPC yeah. TSPC, yeah. yeah, TSPC. Yeah. Hello, Paul. <laughs> uh, did, uh, was this experience good, good enough uh, that you would like to do it again? I'd love someday? to work with them again. They sent me a demo tape while we were on tour last year and said they were really interested in working with me. And I came down and spent uh, two or three days with them and uh, steered them in the right direction, I feel, with the okay. music and, uh, you know, mixed a couple tracks for them and really enjoyed the band. And, You know, it's a good band. It's a real good band. Would you do it for another band as well? Absolutely. Have you had offers yet? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, both of us. You know, everybody right? gets offers to work with other people. It's just um, Pantera is our number one goal, right. you know? And so when you don't have time to get away from Pantera, you don't have time to do anything. Did you find that uh, working for another band helped you when you went studio for, uh, to work on that band? Uh, I would just say the things that I learned from making those yeah, records, you I took and showed them, you know, the things. Uh, how to develop space within the sound and space in their songs and stuff like that. All right, okay, let me translate, please. D'abord, bonjour, Pantera, je leur ai dit bonjour en arrivant. Euh, quoi d'autre? Euh, on a parlé un petit peu, euh, ah oui, de, de, de l'expérience, parce que vous savez que Vigny a travaillé pour euh, la formation québécoise TSPC que vous connaissez sûrement si vous regardez l'émission Pantera. J'ai demandé qu'est-ce que tu as appris. Ben, on entend plusieurs choses, avoir un certain recul aussi par rapport à la musique. Est-ce que tu as eu des offres? Est-ce que tu aimerais ça faire, tu aimerais ça travailler comme euh, producteur sur un autre album? Il dit oui. Euh, on a accepté des offres. On peut pas savoir exactement c'est quoi, puis les deux gars vont faire ça euh, au cours euh, des, euh, des, des prochains mois aussi, mais Pantera demeure quand même la priorité numéro un. C'est déjà l'heure d'aller voir un vidéoclip, mais si vous restez avec nous, je vais parler encore un peu plus avec des membres de Pantera au retour, les voici avec un extrait de cet album-là, The Great Southern Train Kill, qu'on regarde tout de suite, Pantera à Planet Rock. Oh, je suis désolé, mais c'est sold out. Il n'y en a pas de vieux ce soir. Tantôt, on a parlé un peu de la notion de compromis. Est-ce que Pantera connaît ça, la notion de compromis? Ils disent oui. Compromis pour un band comme Pantera, c'est d'être à sa place, faire sa job, c'est-à-dire faire des entrevues, faire des shows tight. Ce soir, ça risque d'être tight, donc, au Métropolis de Montréal. So, you work uh, for this album at your place, hein? Yeah. No studio, no real studio, no yeah. formal studio. So, you decided to create your own studio. Uh, what for? Just grabbed a couple high eight cams and went with it, you know. Got a little jam room out back where we cut that record, actually. Yeah. Right. And uh, just started off as a jam room. He brought in a live recording gear, and it kind of just went from there. Just so said the room had really good acoustics, you know. Stuff sounded good, and we figured, you know, why should we go to Nashville or Los Angeles or somewhere like this to record a record when we do it right here, you know? Right. Are you still yard. friends with your neighbors? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're cool with it. Yeah, yeah. cool with it. Cool. All right. Is Dallas a happening town, musically speaking? It's a great town. It man. is. It's, uh, It's a, a town that has a wide variety of musical styles. You know, there's bands like us, Pantera, the Toadies are from Dallas. Uh, Edie Burkell was from Dallas. Yep. There's a lot of different kinds. Stevie Ray Vaughan used to play around all the Dallas nightclubs there. So there's a wide variety of kind of music that comes from there, and it's a, it's a healthy scene. ZZ. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. J'ai demandé uh, qu'ils me parlent un petit peu de la scène musicale à Dallas, parce qu'ils viennent de là, puis ils ont fait l'album là-bas. Pas dans un studio normal, un studio uh, déjà préfabriqué. En réalité, uh, ils l'ont fait chez uh, Dimbag, et lui, uh, il est toujours ami avec ses voisins, ils ont confirmé ça. Ils ont fait là, puis le vidéoclip que vous venez de voir aussi, il a été tourné là-bas, parce que lui, uh, il s'implique uh, il s'implique beaucoup là-dedans. Uh, you're going to tour for the, the next month, huh? Next oh, yeah. summer, you're touring yeah. as well? We got, we got a... 
We can finish this tour around March 1st, this particular leg, and then we go to South America, which yeah. is always great. It's a good place to play. And then uh, we're going to have a live album come out this summer with two new studio tracks, probably a 12 to 20 page tour booklet that's going to have a pictorial history of the band, something that's really you know, special for the fans, because they're the reason why Pantera has been so successful, and, you know, it's one of the things that we can do to give back to them, because there's a lot of bootlegs and stuff, and mm -hmm. we want to give them a, a real quality Pantera live album, like what they're used to hearing when they come see us live. And live album, you know what you're talking about, yeah, playing yeah, live, so I mean, for thing, Pantera, it's your thing. That's that's, also, that's the it. home video, too. Yeah, the third one's finally too. coming. Is that right? Hang in there. And what's going to be the next video from this album, tell me? Uh, probably not another one from that one, but the home yeah. video, you know, far beyond the great Southern Trend Kill videos. It's going to be like two and a half, three hours long. It's going to encompass everything that's gone on with this band in the past three to four years. And there'll definitely be some footage from here in Montreal because it's a great cool. city. Cool. Well, where's the most happening and most active mosh pit you've seen in your life? Boy, I don't, that's that's too hard to answer because there's a lot of great ones, man. Okay. But this is one of them. This is one of the tops. À vous de surveiller ce soir la manche pit. Il y en a plusieurs des uh, des bon des manche pit très très actifs. Ils ont dit uh, c'est dur de, de, de préciser quand même. Uh, un album qui va venir au mois à l'été prochain, un album live. L'autre savent exactement c'est quoi là avec une cassette vidéo aussi, avec sûrement des moments de leur tournée ici à Montréal. Thank you very hey, much. Enjoy yourself tonight. Hey, thank, thank you, you very much. It's been a pleasure thank meeting you guys. I've been here before. Yeah. I'm glad I met you. Voici Pantera avec uh, un bon dans le temps. On les regarde tout de suite. Thanks again. Does it feel lonely right now because you're sort of uh, the survivors of, of metal? Things are going really well for you, but so many bands have died or are having a hard time. It must be more fun when there's others around. Ah, uh, man, I mean, it just feels good, you know? If you ask me, it feels good. We we party, we tear it up, like you said. We're playing a sold-out show, so, I mean, how lonely could it be, you know? As long as we're having a good time, man, it ain't over, you know? Yeah. yeah, and the fans have been great. They supported us, you know, right now in 1996, 97, when alternative music is king and hard rock, heavy metal's really not doing much. Hey, for us to have sold out shows, be doing this interview with you right now, that says a lot for the fans. <laughs> The industry decided, you know, four or five years ago that it was going to go this alternative direction. A lot of hard metal bands didn't know whether they should stick to their guns or if they should, you know, change their sound to try to fit in, to roll with it. And I think a lot of fans lost uh, faith in those particular bands, and that's why we're still here today and they're not. Did Phil really die last year? Yeah. It was uh, a really uh, tough thing for all of us to deal with. It was something that was a, a really bad thing that happened, but in Philip's own words, it's probably the best thing that ever happened to him because it woke him up. It brought us closer together as a band. It made us better friends. and. It's, uh, things have been going great ever since then. It's great, man. Great. What's fascinating also is that he took time to, to put out a release and say that there's nothing. You die, there's nothing, there's no light, there's no tunnel, there's no music. And that, for everybody, was like, God, isn't it disappointing? There's nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what was your reaction? Well, all I can say is, you know, I'm the most horrifying sight, uh, horrifying sight I've ever seen in the world was him laying on the ground blue and the paramedics trying to bring him back, you know? And all I can say is that, Heroin, that kind of stuff, y'all, don't mess with it. That's all I can tell you, because it only leads to one place, and that's to death, you know? And there's too many people that have gone by the wayside that are great people, and we're just happy that he's still here. I'm sure you guys are, and we're stronger and better because he's over it. Let me see your hands in the air. 